After working as an SDR at Oracle and getting promoted to AE and mentoring other SDRs at Oracle and succeeding at Google Cloud and now a global startup, I've learned about what it takes to succeed in business development and to succeed as an SDR. And over my nine year tech sales career, I've also built relationships with hiring managers and VPs of sales development like Kim Brown, who I recently interviewed on the channel, make sure to check that out, to get inside the mind of the SDR hiring committee. I've learned that there are common qualities of successful SDRs that hiring managers are looking for. And if you can check the box when it comes to these common qualities in the mind of the hiring manager or the VP of sales development, you're probably gonna get the job. In this video, I wanna give you the answers to the test ahead of time with 12 universal qualities of successful sellers so that you can start to craft your own personal stories that hit hiring managers hot buttons to show them what you'll bring to the table and give them confidence that you're the right fit. I'm pretty confident that after this video, you might be pleasantly surprised to know that you possess these qualities already and that they're trainable and improvable. In fact, you can choose to embody these qualities today. And even if you haven't been putting them into practice, it's not too late and you can start now and fake it until you become it. These 12 qualities will give you a North Star, something to aim at. And my hope for you is that as you pursue developing these qualities in yourself, you bloom into the best version of you possible. Someone who's more capable to connect and make an impact in your life. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel for weekly videos committed to your success in tech sales and in life. And once you finish this video, make sure to check out another video I did on 30 interview questions you need to prepare for to ace any tech sales interview. And finally, check out my website, chrisbussing.com. There's some free learning resources on there and you can sign up for my sell more, live more newsletter, which is coming out soon which will also keep you up to date on my course, Tech Sales Accelerator, which I'm planning to launch in the next month or so. I'm super excited about it. All right, let's dig into these 12 qualities that SDR hiring managers are looking for so that you can start embodying them today and highlight them in your interview processes so that you can stand out and get the job. The first quality that hiring managers look for, which is foundational to success in life, is self-awareness. Are you aware of your strengths and your weaknesses? And do you have a curiosity to better understand yourself so that you can better manage yourself and produce better outcomes? Are you willing to look inward and coach yourself so that you can continuously improve? Are you someone who's not afraid to talk but is also very good at listening? Can you read a room and adapt a pitch based on the people that you're talking to? The second quality that SDR hiring managers look for is coachability. I guarantee you that when you're interviewing for an SDR role at any company, you're probably gonna be asked the question, tell me about a time you received a piece of feedback and implemented it. Are you someone who can put your ego aside and receive constructive criticism and take it in and actually implement that feedback to produce better results? Going a step further, are you someone who proactively asks for feedback because you are so committed to becoming the best version of yourself and you know that we all are trapped in our own perspective and limited by our own thinking. The people who embrace feedback and are coachable have limitless potential and will continuously improve and get better and better. And hiring managers know this. They really seek this quality out. The third quality that hiring managers look for is courage and bias for action. Are you someone who has the courage to take risks and experiment rather than overanalyzing and not taking any action? Are you willing to pick up the phone and call a stranger and interrupt their day knowing that's really how you make things happen? Are you someone who's okay looking stupid and can live in awkward? Because sales interactions, especially when talking to random strangers, can be awkward. Sales is sloppy, cringy moments are okay, and awkwardness can open up opportunity. And do you have the initiative and the chutzpah to make an ask? All sales start with asking for the business. Hiring managers want go-getters. As they say, ask and you shall receive. The fourth quality that hiring managers look for is grit, which is the intersection of passion and perseverance. Are you a passionate, positive self-starter with a strong internal motivation? Can you follow up in a pleasantly persistent way with targets? In sales, no one's gonna hold your hand and tell you what to do. You need to be someone who takes ownership and makes things happen. Sales can definitely be a grind, especially in the SDR role, but it's a worthwhile pursuit and the upside is huge. To realize your potential, you have to push through those days of rejection and what feels like no progress 
to realize the big gains. The fifth quality that hiring managers look for is confidence and resilience. Are you someone who has a healthy sense of self-belief and confidence, which informs how you communicate and actually instills confidence in others you communicate with? Are you someone who can face rejection and failure and still push through, not taking it personally and bouncing back quickly? Our results rise and fall to the level of our beliefs, and there's no getting around it. The sixth quality that hiring managers look for is empathy and curiosity. Are you willing to immerse yourself in the world of your prospect and truly understand their market and what similar customers are doing to solve specific challenges and achieve specific outcomes? Can you communicate this effectively and show the customer that you actually care? And can you communicate what's in it for them? not how great your company is. And someone who's truly committed to being empathetic and curious will continue to ask the customer open-ended questions in cold calls and discovery calls to get deeper and deeper into their world and truly know how they can help. The seventh quality that hiring managers look for is preparation and intentionality. Are you someone who comes into every cold call, email, and discovery call with a plan? Before any customer or manager interaction, people who are intentional actually think through how they want to feel, how they want the other person in the conversation to feel, the key questions they're going to ask, what they want to communicate, and actions that they want to influence. High performers are always seeking clarity about what they want to understand and the impact that they want to make to drive opportunities forward. The eighth quality that hiring managers look for is executive presence. They want to know that they can put you in front of executives and you'll represent the brand well. People with executive presence are confident and succinct in how they communicate. They quickly get to the point and they quickly communicate what's in it for the customer. Why should they care? And people with executive presence understand it's not just what you say, but how you say it. And they have strong tone and body language to back up their communication. The ninth quality that SDR hiring managers look for is that you're a challenger and a trusted advisor. The Challenger Sale is one of the most influential books in B2B sales. And I actually interviewed the author, Matt Dixon, if you want to check that out. But challengers are willing to create constructive tension with customers to drive deals forward and challenge the customer status quo. A trusted advisor is knowledgeable about the industry a customer's in and can teach the customer something new about the problems in their world. They are not a transactional seller who's only in it for quick money, but they actually bring value and push the customer to make meaningful progress. The 10th quality that SDR hiring managers look for is that you're focused and organized. Can you prioritize the most important revenue generating tasks and focus on the most profitable target customers to get things done and move the needle in a meaningful way? Sellers who are focused don't waste time chasing meetings with the wrong contacts at the wrong accounts that don't fit the ICP. They're not trying to set a meeting with a janitor at a company that looks nothing like their ideal customer profile. The 11th quality that hiring managers look for is are you data driven? Can you use data to optimize your strategy and how you execute in the SDR role? You could look at data points like what's my meeting conversion rate? What times am I getting email opens? What's my email open rate? When you understand these things, you can understand how to improve. You don't have to be a data scientist, but you simply need to be someone willing to look at the data and assess what's working and what isn't. This was critically important if you want to work for the best of the best, most innovative companies like Google, they actually care about people being data driven. And finally, the 12th quality that hiring managers look for in SDR candidates is, are you a closer? You've heard the cliche overused expression, always be closing, but I'm going to tell you it's important to embody if you want to get a role in sales. Closers are always driving towards next steps with prospects and locking those next steps in. In fact, they're booking the next call on the phone before hanging up. They're not taking no too easily. Speaking of closing, that's a wrap. Thank you guys for your time and attention and let's close on next steps together. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you truly wanna land your first SDR role in tech sales, check out my interview with Kyle Coleman. Kyle's a master of all things SDRing and in his time as an SDR leader, he hired over 200 SDRs. It's not an accident that the interview has 15,000 views already and growing. And someone even said, hey, the first 20 minutes of this video is worth $12,000.
because that's what some boot camps are charging out there. Also, check out the video that I made with 30 interview questions to prepare for that'll help you ace any tech sales interview. I had someone reach out and say that they watched that video and it helped them land a job at Soft Choice, which is a good tech company. They said that these questions gave them confidence to handle any type of variation of these foundational questions. The questions they got might not have been the exact same, but they're the same type of questions. And that's why this particular individual said the video was so impactful for them. It gave them a great foundation. And finally, check out my website, chrisbussing.com, where you can sign up for my Sell More, Live More newsletter coming out next week, and where you can get a sneak peek at my Tech Sales Accelerator course, which I'm gonna be launching in the next month or so. I'm super excited about it, and I actually wanna help 10,000 people land their first job in tech sales as an SDR and get promoted in the coming years. It's a mission I'm really passionate about because tech sales has really changed my life in many ways and opened up unpredictable opportunities. And I wanna help more people access those types of opportunities. To your success in tech sales and in life, happy selling and happy living, and I'll see you in the next one.